Hi, this is Sean Holman with the Four Wheeler Network, and with me today in Moab, Utah, is Nico Vardis, uh, design manager from Mopar. And uh, behind us today is the CJ66 concept, which is uh, a really cool Jeep. Uh, you can tell us about it, but, but it's kind of a mashup of three different generations. Yeah, that's right. So um, crazy it's, as, as it sounds, there's three gens of Jeeps that's going on in here. The body is from a 66 uh, CJ Tuxedo Park. Uh, universal, so it's a, it's a longer wheelbase body, and we took a, uh, a, a TJ uh, chassis and hung the body on top of it, and it's got JK accessories, so it all <laughs> seems to, to work and play nicely uh, all together. Well, it's, it's a beautiful Jeep, and the CJ6 has always been kind of one, one of my favorites, sort of an oddball, you don't see them out a lot, but the long wheelbase has is, is always been, I thought the proportions were always just right on it, and especially when you have it lifted up here on, on these big tires, um, I think it, it comes together really well. Yeah, so we were, uh, we're bringing it up here for the media event, and the designer on the vehicle, Jeremy Roofs, he was saying how nice the d dynamics are with that extended wheelbase. It's I think it's roughly about 101. Which is perfect. Uh, That's like the yeah. sweet spot in, in off-roading is right around that 100, 101. Yeah. Another cool thing about this thing is the flares, if you notice, the flares are, are pumped out. So yeah. the, the, C, the C, CJ body was real narrow back then. Yeah. And uh, we accentuated the, the width by adding some custom flares so to get the width back out. So it does look like a, a planted jeep on the trails so and it has the traditional cj shape where as you look at the uh, at the jk and it's a trapezoidal flare and the cj has always had that rounded flare in the back and so you you are able to kind of mimic that in a modern way yeah yeah so they it all interplays and we wanted to keep the essence of what the cj6 was back in, in the day so um it all it all seems to work one thing that we want to point out is what's under the hood. Yep. So what's cool about this and the feature of this CJ66 is 345 Mopar crate engine that's available. Very cool. And then what are the axles? I know that it's using basically TJ chassis and suspension, but you've got the new generation upgraded JK axles under it? Yeah, so the Dana 44s um, all the way around. And uh, we got a concept uh, a lift kit on this vehicle so uh, to take on the trail. So everything's... Everything works. It, it might look old, but it's all like modern underneath and it all works real well. Yeah, and you can see on the interior, you guys kind of shape the roll bar more traditionally. Um, and then the gauges too are kind of different too to get that round that round CJ uh, look, but give you modern information. Yeah, so we, we took all the gauges and kind of preserved them in a, in a central location on the IP. So we didn't want to kind of distract from, you know, the historic vehicles, but they are modern gauges and uh, they give you all the, the modern technology along with the uh, uh, the, the kind of historic IP, if you will. So it's kind of like a rest, resto modded Jeep, right? So you're taking it, the old look, you're mixing it with modern technology. This is the, the kind of the, the best of all worlds. You have the reliability and the power of the 345, and then you've got the the looks of the, the old Jeep. Um, you've got modern seats, modern electronics, modern axles. I mean, this is something that you could really go out and have a lot of fun with. Yeah, I mean, everybody gives us the V8. It's like, V8 is <laughs> like, uh, it, it's meant to be, yeah. you know. Everybody's, it's proper. It's, it is. Proper. It is. And I noticed some of the, you even have the, the Jeep embossing here, and you've got the classic V8 emblem, which is kind of a nice touch. And, and I mean, if you look around, this is one of those vehicles that when you first look at it, 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 it just, it looks like an old CJ6, but the more time you spend in it, you see, oh, it's a Rubicon style hood. That's right. And it's got where the fuel filler used to be is uh, looks like you got your air compressor and gauge and then the fuel fills in the back and you've taken off the spare tire and put it in behind the seats and what I love about it most and it's funny it has a JK console in it but it's a stick and actually my personal JK is a stick so I always appreciate when you guys you know do something with the manual transmission and it's uh, I think I read once that Wrangler has one of the highest take rates for manuals in all the automotive industry. Yeah, that's right. Well, the one thing I want to point out is is the seats. Yeah. I mean, they're they're sport seats, and they really like if it. You know, a lot of these vehicles have bench seats in them, and this <laughs> yep. really um, kind of cradles your body and gives you the ladder support you need. And it gives you just a different driving feel, right, than you would have normally had in a traditional CJ6. Yeah, it's a it's a mind warp. It, it, yeah. it doesn't. It, 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 you try to put all yeah, what, these elements together. What and you it, see <laughs> and what you get, they don't match, and no. it's it's so much better. And and the it's. It's a vehicle that ends up being better than the sum of all its parts. That's right. I mean, it, it all seems to work at the end. It's yeah. incredible. You, you guys have done a wonderful job on this. I think I think it looks great, and it's it's an awesome vehicle out here in Moab.